Hey everybody, Len Erickson here with another Purveyor of Light quick tip. Uh, a lot of us, uh, we spend a lot of time in Lightroom and Photoshop and uh, we sometimes forget that there's a dozen different ways to do the same feature. Uh, one of the things I'm talking about today is actually converting your uh, photographs into black and white. And a lot of people don't think it makes any difference which method you use. Uh, but actually, I'm going to show you that how you convert to black and white is probably more important uh, than anything else you could do with your photograph. So first off, let me show you here just quickly. Um, I can go ahead and make a duplicate copy of the, the background. And I can come up to uh, Image, Adjust, and then I could desaturate. Well, there's one way of converting to black and white. Okay. I can uh, also uh, make an adjustment layer. Uh, I could take a hue saturation layer and I can drop the saturation. And there I am with another black and white version. Okay. And another way I can go to black and white is actually to use a black and white adjustment layer. Okay, so now I have another way of it going into black and white. And now I'll show you another way. Okay, uh, we can use a gradient map. And we now have another way of going to black and white. Now, a lot of people will tell you it doesn't make any difference which method you do. Black and white is black and white. Desaturating is desaturating. But that is the farthest thing from the truth. Okay, so let me go ahead and try to demonstrate that for you. Okay, I'm going to jump over here to just a color map. Okay, and here's just a, a gradient of each color mix across the board. Okay, and the saturation levels so that we could see we have the blues fully saturated and then the gradient down to nothing uh, and for every color. Now, you'll find out that using any of the black and white conversion methods, we're going to wind up with very different interpretations of how these colors look in black and white. Now, so let me show you here. Here is the first one, which is a black and using the black and white adjustment layer. You can see uh, all the tones have been changed. The gradients are there. Looks kind of flat too, right? Well, let's bring up how it looks for a gradient. Notice how it changed, okay? Just from gradient to black and white, look how much difference there is, okay? How about a hue saturation? We'll go there. And again, a different set of results, okay? Now, this isn't very important when you're working on a particular image because you want to decide uh, what's going to fit your photograph the best, Okay, and sometimes that's not easy to uh, accomplish. So let me show you here what I mean here. Uh, we'll go, uh, here's a left panel here, which is a gradient adjustment map. And here's a black and white adjustment. Okay, they're both done within Photoshop. No additional editing, same image. And you'll notice that there's quite a difference how it maps out the individual colors. Uh, and especially how the gradients map. Uh, if you look at the uh, the purple red area here, you can see there's tremendous difference in interpretation on how those colors are interpreted. Okay, so using this information, uh, all I want you to do now is to learn about your individual images and then select what's going to be best to give your vision of the final product. Okay, and so what I recommend you do is go through your images, determine which method is going to work best for the image you're working on, and then go from there. But just don't fall into the trap of there's one way only to go black and white, and I'll just desaturate it, and then I'll do my results from there. Uh, that'll get you into nothing but heartburn. Okay, so let's take a couple sample images here. Here I have an image. 
and I have already put in three adjustment layers. I have a hue saturation, a gradient map, and a black and white adjustment layer. And I have them all turned off right now. And I'll go ahead and turn them on. And what I want you to do is look at the image as I turn on and the differences that appear going from one image to the other. You can see there's the adjustment for hue saturation. Notice how it's changed for the gradient map. Okay. Black and white adjustment. Again, another result. Again, toggling between the black and white adjustment and the gradient map, you could see that there is a drastic difference in how Photoshop is processing the black and white image for you, how it's interpreting the tones, the colors, the luminosity values. Um, I find from a gradient map perspective that uh, the black and white adjustment is a little bit on the flat side. Um, it maybe preserves a little more of the detail. Uh, if you look at her hair under a black and white, you can actually see more hair strands. Uh, if we bring a, a gradient map in, we're a much higher contrast, a little more blocky look. Okay. But again, which one is the right method? Well, there is no right method. And that's what I'm here to tell you about. What I'm here to do is each individual image you work on, you have to decide what's best for your image for a starting point. Okay, and then you would work from there. Let's go ahead and take another image. Okay, so here we have another portrait. And uh, I have two adjustment layers. I have the gradient map and the black and white. So if I bring up the black and white, you can see, very nice process. But it's kind of flat, kind of muted, right? It's kind of your, your typical unsaturated look. And if I bring up the gradient map, you can see just how much okay just how much the contrast goes it's more poppy uh, look at her her blouse here when i turn off the gradient map you can see <coughs> it's much more flatter um, muted uh, here very much more defined and again this is just between switching whether i convert to black and white using a gradient map or whether I use a black and white adjustment, or I use a hue saturation adjustment layer, or I just unsaturate the limb image. So the purpose of this is to show you that when you're working with black and white and you wanna have a particular outcome, explore the different methods to decide which is going to work best for the image you're working on. So here's another example. Nice black and white, uh, nice color image here. Nice portrait of the young lady. If I turned around and I look at this and I look at the dynamic range and the colors that are here, uh, I could personally, from my experience and knowing how Photoshop is going to map the colors and tones, I'm going to know automatically that the best way to convert this to black and white is going to be a gradient map. Okay. And a gradient map is one of the most least used methods for you converting to black and white. Okay, most people don't even know about it. Uh, most people just hit the black and white adjustment layer and that's it. Um, let me go ahead and show you what I mean. So I'll go ahead and do a black and white adjustment layer. And no adjustments, I just bring it up and I converted it. Look at the image. It's kind of flat. It's kind of dull. Okay, but now let me go ahead and do a uh, uh, gradient map. Black to white. And now look at the image. Okay, no adjustments, but look at the image. Look how much difference, how much contrast, how the colors are interpreted, okay? See, when I turn off, look at the dress, look at the details, okay? If I bring in the black and white, look at the dress, look at the details. <clears throat> it's quite a drastic difference, okay? Okay. So if I were to convert this particular image, I would definitely favor the gradient map over the black and white uh, adjustment layer. Okay, can you accomplish the same things? Maybe yes, with additional layers and adjustments and curves and so forth. But I'm just saying from a direct uh, adjustment to conversion to black and white and a nice starting point to work with your image. Okay, uh, I recommend you explore the different ways of converting to black and white. So that's it. So I hope you found this information useful. If you did, 
please hit the subscribe button so that you get notified about new uh, episodes as they come out. And until next week, you guys take care.